Uh, yeah, I'm gonna listen to a 13 year old. Nah, shut up. Why don't you go back to your country? <laughs> Enrique Iglesias is triggered right now. I mean, all I can say is that if you're gonna make a song in Spanish, at least pronounce the words right. Yo, what's going on YouTube, it's Simon Steph, and you guys, it's that time of year again, Danielle Cohn has officially released a new song. No, God, please, no! And this time, it's in Spanish. You know what's ironic is that right after Danielle got exposed for telling Diego to go back to his country, El Salvador, a Spanish-speaking country, she begins making Spanish music. She was afraid that she got called out for being racist, so instead of apologizing like she should have, she instead is not only lying about her age, but her ethnicity as well. Yeah, so Danielle Cohn, the ice cream cone, recently released another Spanish song titled Bailamos. And excuse my Spanish, I'm not pretending to be Hispanic, so if my pronunciation is a little bit off, well, it makes sense. And you know what's funny is when you go into YouTube and type in how to pronounce Bailamos, one of the first results that come up is Danielle Cohn's channel. And if you're asking yourself right now, well, what's so funny about that? Well, just wait until you listen to the song. So guys, for today's video, we're gonna be taking a look at Danielle Cohn's new song, reacting to it, critiquing it, and overall, just having a good laugh. And before we even get into the song, there's already a problem. The cover art is plagiarized. The photo that she used was literally made years ago by an artist named Carnivore Creates. And my guess is that she probably didn't get permission to use that. So guys, just before we get into this, I'm about to hit 50,000 subscribers on my channel. So if y'all can even like on this video and subscribe if you haven't already, it truly would mean the world to me. So anyways, as always, let's roll the clip. Ah, directed by Joe Bland, the same guy who directed this video, this video, and this video. <laughs> Poor Joe, I mean, Danielle literally has a new boyfriend every music video this guy directs. It's her life, she can do whatever she wants, date whoever she wants, but personally, if I was a video director and you know, I had to shoot a music video every few months with Danielle and she had a new boyfriend, it would be really strange. They call me dangerous, cause I'm a threat, I'm a pirate. Excuse me? Did this girl really just- Cause I'm a threat, cause I'm a threat, cause I'm a threat. What? You know, I've heard a lot of questionable lyrics in the past, but this is by far one of the strangest lyrics that I've ever heard. Is this a Spanish song or a diss track on yourself? Why are you calling yourself a thought? They call me infamous, cause I'm the best baby I'm up next. Up next? Yeah, I don't know about that one. Don't get me wrong, I appreciate, well I would say appreciate what she's doing, but I mean, queer baiting, faking a pregnancy, telling a Hispanic to go back to his country. I mean, the list could go on. But hey, I thought this song was supposed to be Spanish. Where are the... Okay, no, 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 stop it right there. I can't understand a single word that she just said. And I don't know if it's because I'm deaf or... It's just because she's not pronouncing the words correctly. Like, just look at this comment I found. Not even Hispanics are understanding what Danielle is saying. But what I do know for a fact is that is not how you pronounce Bailamos. Listen to my buddy Mr. Iglesias say it. Bailamos. Now that's how you properly pronounce it. But Danielle, on the other hand, she's literally pronouncing it Bailamos, like a goddamn sheep. <laughs> To be honest right now this is fire no not the singing i mean the instrumentals i don't know what that annoying high pitch sound is that's going on in the background Hello. but it's on point for some odd reason it reminds me of the gummy bear song and what's with that moaning sound in the background Come on, you're
There's just way too much going on in this song and it's driving my ears nuts. Is she attempting to go Spanish, EDM, pop? I have no idea. Danielle was laughing because even she knows how terrible this is. Google Translate really did this girl dirty. Look, I respect the hustle, okay? It takes a lot of guts to make a song. She can try whatever she wants. You know, I'm not stopping her. If she wants to make music, go ahead. But she should really just stick to English. I was reading some comments and even real Hispanics are getting really upset over this song and are talking about how disrespectful it is. Honestly, my girl Siri could probably sing in Spanish better than this. You got what I want, you got what you need. Latina queen? Latina queen. <laughs> what? Danielle, come on. Your last name is Cone. You're not Hispanic. I doubt you've ever been to a country like Spain, Puerto Rico. I doubt you grew up speaking the language. I doubt that you've even eaten the food, to be honest. But more importantly, you were raised as a stereotypical white American. Literally, Danielle is pulling a Lily Singh right now. <laughs> You can't go ahead and change your entire ethnicity just because you got called out for being racist. First this girl says she's French, then she said she's half Spanish, now she says she's half Cuban. What's she gonna do next? Pull a whoa Vicky and say she's black? Yes, my birthday is March 7th, but July 19th was the day I found that I was black. Bruh. Or maybe she's gonna come out and admit that she's actually half Antarctican, that her ancestors are the damn penguins from Happy Feet. Okay, first of all, I can't even begin to explain how dangerous that is. And bro, someone get this 14 year old a pair of shorts that actually fit. Look, I'm not the one to judge someone for showing off their body. If Danielle wants to film a music video on the beach and she's wearing a bikini, go ahead. Like that's completely fine. But come on, those shorts literally look like they're made for a 10 year old. I mean, the wedgie pain that she's going through right now, it must be horrendous. Yeah. You know, I'm not gonna lie, that's a really nice Jeep, but it's funny that Danielle has to get some random ass man to drive the thing because we know, she knows, we all know that she's not 16. And for those who don't know, she's dating Mikey Tua again, who's about to turn 18 in a few weeks, which means... That's the sound of the police! All right, anyway guys, I had enough of reacting to this, so that's gonna do it for this video. If you did enjoy, make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. So this video is all jokes. It was just meant to give you guys a laugh, but jokes aside, this music video, I truly don't think Danielle should have done this. And you know, it is really disrespectful to people who actually speak that language. Look, I didn't mind her song before Love Existed. It was smooth, kind of catchy, and had a nice vibe to it, but this, this isn't it. It's really disrespectful and honestly just a mess. But I don't know. I want to know your guys' thoughts. Leave a comment down below. Let me know what your thoughts on this music video was. Also, make sure to follow me on my social media. My TikTok is Ivan Steph Official. My Instagram is Ivan Steph Official. My Twitter is Ivan Steph. And my Snapchat is Shock underscore U09. Also, merch. Merch. Boom. Look at that. Merch is going to be dropping sometime this summer. I, I still don't have a date yet just because of, you know, being on quarantine and everything. If you guys want me to drop the merch this summer, leave a comment, let me know. But that's officially gonna do it for this video. And until next time, it's been Iron Step. Peace.